Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to In Alex is Shook Reaction. And I am super excited because for today's video, it is the moment that I've been waiting for. And that is a What I Ate Today video from our girl. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this video called An Honest Look into What I Ate Today at 500 LBs. Last we caught up with Amber, she put up a video, This Isn't Okay where she talked about that video that someone took at the laundromat. First, they took a picture that was perfectly okay with our girl, but the video was just too much and crossed that line for her. She also teased the idea of going back on Ozempic, but there is nothing indicating that that's actually what she's going to do going forward. So let's take a look at this honest look, according to our girl. Y'all know that's already going to raise a couple of eyebrows. Everything that I'm eating in this video is 100% truth and you can believe what you want. So let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? Well, here we go, folks. An honest look. <laughs> That's not exactly inspiring confidence in me. Hey, guys. Welcome to a hey, new girl. video. So Welcome back, folks. What's with that? Like, she has that title screen. What I ate today Whatever. video. I'm going to show you absolutely everything I eat, everything I drink. All that good, good. I'm not counting calories. I'm not counting carbs. I'm simply just eating less. Let's not nitpick. So I guess she's doing some sort of intuitive eating. Is she going to put to use some of the skills that she learned in these various programs that she has been a part of over the years? She never really followed through, but she has done a lot of different things, albeit for a few days, right? But the weight loss surgery, though, she was seeing that therapist for a while, even after the weight loss surgery fell through. So she does have some tools under her belt. Is she using that when she's doing this new quote unquote diet plan, intuitive eating? I don't know if she can trust her intuition. I don't know about not counting calories for her, although as long as she does keep it, like she doesn't go overboard, she does have an excess amount of calories that she can eat without gaining. And I normally would to lose weight. So you guys did see me wearing this in my weigh-in video because- A lot more than other people would have. I'm filming both of those videos on the same day because I'm gonna be busy the next few days, actually the next like week or so, and I'm not gonna have time to like film this. Oh no, busy with what? Entertaining her guests? Anyways, let's get into it. Really quick disclaimer, if you don't wanna see me eat, you don't like it, it makes you uncomfy, this is a warning, you're about to see that. Okay. Oh, girl, that's what people come for. <laughs> we want to see you eat. We want a mukbang. She hasn't done any mukbangs recently. She always said, if I end up doing mukbangs, it's because I want to make some coinage. Anyways, I just have to show that I am drinking the exact same thing that Amberlynn is showing. It's good. It's good. So the first thing I'm having today is this Gatorade Zero. It's in Glacier Freeze, which is one of my favorites. Um, I've been awake for a couple hours now. It's just very refreshing. And I'm not feeling hungry. I'm just feeling thirsty, so. Uh-oh. So good. No breakfast. They say that that's the most important meal of the day. But I do have to admit, I don't really eat breakfast either, girl. Okay, you guys, so I got some Mediterranean food. This is rice with some chicken. Straight into the takeout. We love to see it. I wasn't expecting anything less, was I? And I thought it was going to be cubes of chicken, but it's like this big chunk. So we'll see what I think of that. And then I got to choose between super salad and I chose Greek salad, of course. Love me a salad. And uh, I have this. That salad really filled me up. That's one of my favorite Chantal quotes. It's like really bad habit where I need something sweet after Chantopolis. I eat. So I got this red velvet thing. Oh gosh. Do I need it? No. Am I going to have some of it? Yes. So Girl, we're going to eat the whole thing. This chicken is literally just falling off the bone. So I think that's a good sign. Chicken and rice and a little red velvet cake, girl. The red velvet cake. Let's do a taste test. 
She's hungry. This is because her body's hungry. She didn't have anything to eat that day. So her eyes lit up when she opened up that DoorDash app and needed to get that uh, dessert as well with her food. Is it Amberlynn approved? Her body's hungry. Hungry. I think so. Do I want it a little bit more dry? Yes. She's actually starving. <laughs> salad. Oh, yeah. The salad. Chicken apple sausage with mustard slaps there's like no attractive way to eat a salad i am open wide dr pepper zero sugar cherry with my food currently do we ever have any water i know i do drink a lot of things besides water but i always have water with me at all times like in my stanley i know i'm like a little bit nervous a little bit embarrassed almost to have a stanley because of all the crazies like they ruined it it's a decent cup it's not anything you want to fight someone over scratch out people's eyeballs for a pink stanley cup with starbucks on the side it's not worth it but it's a decent cup and it does help me drink more water so i always have my water with me but what's with our girl no water ever? this is my favorite drink <laughs> diet sodi she's tasting I'm actually standing at my island to eat. I do this a lot. Do you guys think that uh, makes you eat more calories drinking diet soda? That's what I've heard. There's always that effect when you're drinking soda and you're eating and you burp and then you eat more for some reason. Like that always, that's my tea. You have more room after you burp. I don't have a dining room table, but I don't really want one or need one. So she just stands at the counter. I have to admit I have that habit too. I'll just stand at the counter, but I really need to sit down and like enjoy it and not just shovel it in. I won't have dinner standing at the counter, but snacks, oh yeah, like just fruit, snacking on fruit. Um, yeah. I have room for one at all, but I just noticed that like when I stand and eat, I pay more attention to my food Versus I feel like it would be the opposite. It's like I am sitting down watching YouTube or something. Well, yeah, if so you're watching. You all. So I am pretty freaking full. I'm not going to lie to you. So I do want to try this with you guys, though. Can she stand and cook now? Or does she still need to kind of sit there in a chair and <laughs> stir her cooking? What about the store? Does she need a scooter? It wasn't too long ago she was in that scooter. So here we have her dessert for the night. I don't even want to like ruin it. It looks so Interesting. good. I Wait. do love a good red velvet. Oh, this isn't red velvet. Okay, they didn't oh. have the red velvet, I guess, which is what I wanted. So they gave me this instead. That's fine. I have no idea what it is, but let's go. Ooh. What is that? It kind of tastes like a chocolate pie. She's lucky she doesn't have the beatus at this point. Y'all, I have such a bad sweet tooth. I just ate three-fourths of this, but it was good. Now I'll save the rest for later. Okay, you guys. You know she's demolishing that as soon as the uh, camera turns off. Let's not lie. I thought this was an honest what I ate today. Why takeout? It just doesn't seem like she's trying. Let me get takeout. You could have made chicken and rice at home. So it has been hours since I last talked to you, it is time to eat. So I'm hoping it still tastes good. And when is this? This is just a random Thursday night. It's not like it's Friday night and she's getting takeout. It's not as fresh right now because it has been some time. My lipstick is like all smeared. Sorry about that. She still tastes good. Intuitive okay, cake. So <laughs> next thing I'm going to have is a Sprite Zero Sugar. I actually- That's all she drinks is diet soda? She just ordered something to eat, so I'll show you guys that when it gets- Another DoorDash meal? We couldn't even like pretend for the YouTube. Here's probably gonna be my last meal. A little ASMR action. So this is what she does. She doesn't make anything at home. It's all DoorDash every day. Not to mention like how expensive that is for your wallet. Delivery fees, tips, it all adds up. Girl, ASMR, really? She's really feeling herself with those nails. It's giving Trisha Paytas for sure. 
I want her to tap on a Stanley. I don't have any nails. I keep mine pretty short. Soda Cheers. and DoorDash. Okay, so I ordered ramen, but it's like a ramen with no broth. It's like a carbonara spicy chicken ramen. You know she's going to be up tomorrow, if not the calories. It might not be over her calories to have these meals, but it's sodium bombs. It's sodium bombs. I've had it a couple times and it's honestly so freaking delicious, but it's very- I've been kind of like monitoring my fluctuations and when I do get takeout, it goes up because of the sodium and then it evens out. But you got to keep that water intake up, which she's just having soda. Very spicy, but like in a good way because I love spice. I wish there was a way where I could show my face, but also show my food at the same time. Is this just like a troll? Angle right now. So, currently just stirring it up. It's like she's not even trying. Ramen, really? She's tasty. This is also another food that you just can't look pretty while eating it. I do want to get the, like, takeout ramen, like, good ramen. <laughs> I've, of course, I've had, like, store-bought ramen where you just, like, add the hot water, but... We have a ramen place that opened up not that long ago. It looks really good. Yeah, I want to try it. Y'all, I ain't going to fib. I could have ate this whole thing. I could totally eat the rest of this. But I am actively choosing not to because I know that I shouldn't. All right. So Are you next full? Thing I mean, isn't a part of intuitive eating, listening to your body and eating until you're full, then moving on. I am having is another Gatorade Zero. That was a loud swallow. So she just has dinner and then she just has lunch and then dinner. No breakfast, which I have to admit, I don't really have it either. But her body is hungry. And so she just gets these takeout meals. She could have a bunch of small meals spaced out throughout the day to keep herself satiated. But I bet you she feels hungry all the time. Okay, you guys. So that is everything that I'm going to be having today. I'm done with my eating. If I do drink something else, it'll definitely probably be one of these. Or another diet sodi, right? <laughs> or like a Sprite Zero. But what I thought yep. I could do differently compared to any other what I ate today video that I've done, because trust me, I've done a lot. I'm actually kind of curious how many I've done in total. I think that'd be fun to go back and like count, but your girl ain't got the time. My face looks pink right now because- This just felt like a throwaway troll video. Seven minutes of her just ordering takeout, two takeout meals, and that's what she's gonna eat for the day. My three balloon is just And then chilling. she wonder, wonders why she's maintaining and or gaining. Okay, go back up there. Oh. I'm gonna give like a review of my day. First thing- Because you don't know like how many calories are even in these takeout meals. I'm sure she doesn't pay attention. What I wanna do is I wanna rate my day today- Sodium bombs. On what I ate and what I drank out of 10. Zero being like, wow, that is the worst I've ever done like binge city, emotional eating, like just eat. I guess it wasn't like that, but we're approaching the end of the night, right? And that's where she's most at risk. So much, I don't feel good. While up here, 10 is like, wow, queen. Like health, fitness, Instagram is about to be created for yours truly. So obviously I'm exaggerating a bit, um, but I feel like today overall, I'm gonna be at about like seven and a half obviously everyone's right. scale is going to be different because normally girl that's good that's satisfactory that's above average i know i'm down here at like a three i also want to ask myself like what is something that i could have done different today regarding my eating Honestly, it's like a five girl honestly 100 percent vegetables I don't think I had a single vegetable today. I had like a couple bites of a salad, but that like literally doesn't count. And then I want to ask myself, what is something that I did today regarding like my eating? Yeah, why didn't she eat the salad? She should think about like adding things instead of like what she could take away, what she could add. So vegetables, carrot sticks in between the meals or something like that. 
I think will be good. That I'm proud of. I am very, very proud. Broccoli. That I, not only did I not finish my ramen, even though I- One of those uh, trays with the sausage, veggies, and mustard, since she likes it. I don't like the mustard, but take away the mustard. I would eat that. It's pretty good with the cottage cheese. Really, really wanted to, but I knew it was a good idea to stop. But I didn't have any nighttime candy. I lately have been having nighttime candy. Love me a chocolate bar at night. And I'm just really happy that I didn't do that today. So anyways, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. This was a troll. Thank you for watching. Girl, you got me good. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I would not rate this at a 7.5. Honestly, it goes to show you where her head is at. She is so delusional. Two takeout meals and a few diet beverages. No veggies, no fruit. She could really add a lot to this to supplement her nutrition. I don't think she's taking any sort of supplement. It doesn't seem like she's trying to make any better choices. It's just takeout. It's giving lazy. It's giving delusional. No water. And she says that this is a 7 out of 10. For someone who is in such a dire situation, it just says out of touch with reality. Get it together, girl. Maybe she needs someone to take her to the grocery store. Maybe she needs like a wifey, a caretaker. Her mom's just not cutting it when it comes to those trips to the store. Although if she can pay for delivery fees for DoorDash, she can surely pay the delivery fees for Instacart, right? What is crazy to me is this woman needs to lose like 300 pounds. It's not like she just has to lose a cheeky little 20 pounds or something. That's kind of how she acts. Oh, I'll get around to it. You know, I'm taking it slow. Well, girl, it's been 10 years and you've only put on 200. She was eating very American today. <laughs> it's almost like an F you to the audience, but I guess this is her honest take on what she is eating today. All right, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. All right, bye, everyone. Yikes on bikes. <laughs>